Brian Sebastian. Movie Reviews and More, the Women's Broadcast TV Network, womenontv.tv. And here we are doing interviews with... Catherine Pigova, Miss Charles 2018. And the reason I wanted her to pronounce her name because it sounds sexier the way you say it than if I screwed it up. Catherine Pigova. Exactly. <laughs> and I asked her if she had a good side. She says all sides are good, and I like that. <laughs> and that's a good answer, isn't it? Yeah. It's like... They are different a little bit, as all humans' body are a little bit different on both sides. But, you know, humans are beautiful, no matter which side are you are looking at them. Here's what I know. Russian women are beautiful to begin with. <laughs> I've been told I'm going to end up with one. I already know that, as it is. I already know. I just don't know who she is. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> just keep looking around. <laughs> no, they're there. Talk about how exciting it was for 2018 for you. What was that like for you? Well, it started with a pageant and I won it and it was it was a good year actually. So I won Miss Russia in Los Angeles and then it was a lot of work, it was a lot of photo shoots, it was a lot of runways and modeling and film. So it, it was a good year. I like it. Was it something you always wanted to do? Uh, you mean pageant? Yeah, did you always want to do that? To be honest with you... Why, you've been lying the whole time? I... No. <laughs> I, I'm always honest with people. When I... Anna, I know the Miss Russian Los Angeles 2017, and when she told me about the show, she said it was so interesting and it was so good and fun. And I thought, okay, let's do it. But before that, I never thought about myself as being a beauty queen. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you are. You're gorgeous. You're stunning. And I love this color on you. Talk about who made this. Where'd you get this? Oh, actually, it's mine. Ah, <laughs> interesting. Yeah, I do a little bit of designs, too. <laughs> so you're also a dancer. Do you model also? Yeah, I do model because I'm 5'11", mm -hmm. and I have perfect model body, so I you do, do modeling. Yep. Uh, I like dancing more because there's more you can express yourself more when you're modeling if it's runway you can't express yourself you're just wearing the dress right um i like prints when you can show yourself i like this so i like to be special and unique so this year for the eighth annual which is going to be special you get to hand your reign off to someone else what's that going to be like I think it will be amazing because it will be a great show. Liko already told us about some things, so it will be great because she is organizing things so gorgeously. And I think it will be a great show. And then at the end, I will need to pass my crown, but it's fine. All right, so we just got done doing the Oscars. Uh, do you have a favorite film that you like? And you saw what movie yesterday? I saw a little yesterday and I love it. I mean, they did lots of work on her eyes and costume design. Wasn't it beautiful? It was the so expression? beautiful. And I just keep watching it. And there was a lot of scenes, uh, when action scenes. So they got, they had lots of graphics. So it was just amazing. Mm. And I saw it in 3D. So it was like, wow, I'm there with yeah. them. So I love it. Talk about your favorite charity, because I know you have a favorite charity you like. What is that? Yes, my favorite charity is uh, children. Everything connecting to children is my favorite, but I'm starting to work in a uh, volunteer in Los Angeles Children's Hospital, and it was, it was tough to get there, <laughs> to mm. be honest. But um, I just love kids, and I think our future is in kids. So if we put our souls and help them, somehow then we will make this world a better place how can your fans reach out to you what's your social media links uh i have my website it is www.pegova.e.com and my instagram is pegova.e i love that last name pegova that's why i'm using it everywhere <laughs> <laughs> okay last question tell the fans out there who might know about miss russia where they can go online and get tickets right uh, yes, they can go online and get tickets. I know that the link to tickets is um, on Instagram. Mm -hmm. It's Russian Los Angeles Instagram. And you can go to the headline and go and select tickets. All right, so everybody so watch way. out for her and say that last name one more time because it's very sexy. Catherine Pigova. And there you go. That's Catherine. We'll see you soon. See you soon. <laughs>
Hey, it's Brian Sebastian. Movie Reviews and More, the Women's Broadcast TV Network, Worldwide TV Network, WomenOnTV.com and iTube 247. And we're doing pre-interviews for the 8th Annual, what is it called now? Miss Rush. And you are when? I'm Miss Rush Nelly 2017. Exactly. See, I wanted her to say this. And your name is? My name is Anna Petrova. Okay. You know why I have them pronounce their names? Because it's sexy when it comes from the women. That's why. Oh, really? It, it is. <laughs> it is. You'd be surprised how many people love this because it rolls off your tongue. Right. It does. Yeah. Yeah, especially uh, Petrova. Like See, that. that's the whole thing. See, I can't do that even if I tried to do it. I just can't do it. Talk about what was it like when you won? What was that first that first feeling for you? Uh, I was happy mm -hmm. and I felt like I deserved it. Good. It was a result of my hard work. Okay, so Russian women, they don't hold anything back, first of all, and they have this strong presence and they have this strong determination that you can do anything. So you had it there, didn't you? I, it was a beginning, and yes, I did, and mm -hmm. then it didn't stop there, and then I got two more crowns. <laughs> ah, talk about those crowns. How did you get those? Yeah, so then um, I uh, was in Miss Russian California 2018 in Sacramento, and I won again. And then uh, recently I got the title of first vice Miss Russian United States in New York. Good for you. Good for you. Talk about what it was like to be in New York, and what it was like to go up to Sacramento for that. It's an honor um, to do those things, isn't it? It is, you know, and I feel like I gathered uh, so much experience prior to that. But it was wonderful to execute all my experience there. Mm -hmm. I felt really confident and uh, happy. It's like everything that I do on stage brings me joy. It's just what I love doing. <laughs> ah, see, and you have the confidence. It just, when you were talking, it was already there, so I'm not surprised by any of it. Thank you. <laughs> How do your fans reach out to you, your social media links? Uh, it's Anna underscore A underscore Petrova on Instagram. When you had, it, it came to that time and it always comes to that time at the end of the year, the turnover, the hand over your reign, what was that like for you? I was actually really happy because it, first of all, it was my friend. <laughs> um, and Secondly, I had another reigning title at this point, mm. so I had two Miss Russian LA, Miss Russian California, so I didn't feel like I was giving anything up, you know, I felt like it was natural and, and nice and you know, I was like, yeah, I got this for a little while, I enjoyed it and now here you go, enjoy it now too. <laughs> ah, okay, so we had just finished with the Oscars last weekend. Uh, did you see anything that you liked this past year? 2018 as a champion that you were well 17 18 whatever um, I'll be honest uh, I barely had time to go with your to travel movies. schedule and everything yeah um, and since I have a daughter it gives me an excuse to go watch uh, animation <laughs> so and the movie we we're talking about so earlier Rack was Wolf was really the only one <laughs> And it's funny because I'm, I'm a little embarrassed because I worked on the Oscars viewing uh, gala oh, yeah, yeah. As, a, as a host and I just found out so much new things about the industry mm -hmm. at that moment. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I really don't know. Tell yeah. me about it. <laughs> and I can tell you a whole story. It's Ranella Ferrer, the your thing host on that for is, the day. You know, you, you saw a movie not too long ago, How to Train Your Dragon, right? Oh yeah, How Talk to about Dragon it. 3. See, she um, loves animation. I am, uh, uh, the reason I love animation is because I feel like uh, with the animation thought through, the ideas are much clearer. So there are still ideas of friendship, of, mm -hmm. you know, whatever it is, kindness, anything, any values that we have through animation, it goes so bright and clear, you know, because it's, it's designed for uh, kids. Mm -hmm. Right, so it has to be communicated clearly, and I yeah, I love it so much. I cry every time. How to Train Your Dragon three? They don't get. She, they, she's they a movie get, critic now. They don't <laughs> get any like. You would think like two would be a little less interesting. Three would be like ah, uh, you know, like that's what happens. It does not get any worse. It only gets better. And like the storyline there, I just, you know, I would probably like bow to the creators right now. It's like, it's an amazing animation. Ah, see, <laughs> she is a movie critic. All right, one last question. Uh, talk about charities. Yes, yeah, so I, um, 
as I got three crowns. <laughs> not one, not um, two, three. Three crowns. I felt obligated to, to you know, to do something. It's, it may sound silly, but it does give you some sort of responsibility. And I felt like just sitting back and not doing anything with it would be a waste. Mm -hmm. And I am uh, currently starting to work with a company called Good Planet, good. which turns industry by industry into a more sustainable uh, oh, thing. Oh, good. Yeah, so it's like it would it would come over here and it would say, you know, don't use this, change the lamps, da 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 da, -da so that everything becomes more sustainable and actually becomes cheaper mm -hmm. for people who do it. And it's just like the smarter way of approaching nowadays. It reality. absolutely is. And so, yeah, so that that is the one project that I work with, but I'm uh, currently and always looking for other opportunities, how to, uh, how to um, contribute and how to connect uh, anything that, that can be connected and passed along. So brands together with events, together with the charity projects, and then it all kind of works out together. I think good. it's beautiful. Good, good, good. <laughs> I have something for you then. Oh, yay. <laughs> All right. One last time. Give you social media links to the audience. Uh, my Instagram is Anna, A-N-N-A -N -N -A underscore A underscore Petrova, P-E-T-R-O-V-A. Thank you very much. <laughs> See, again, I can't say her name like she says it, but hey, the 8th annual, it's coming up really soon. What is it again? Miss Russian LA, I'm hosting the red carpet, so waiting for you there. <laughs> Thank you. We will see you again. <laughs> So today we have Miss Anna and Miss Catherine join with me. Ladies, please introduce yourselves. Um, hi, I'm Anna Petrova, Miss Russian LA 2017. And my name is Catherine Pegova. I am Miss Russian Los Angeles 2018. Wow, so these two women right here with me were crowned the Miss Russian Los Angeles. I just want to have, like, I just want to ask so many different questions for you guys. I mean, 2017 and then 2018, how does it feel being crowned as Miss Russian LA? You were the sixth crowned Miss yeah. Russian LA. How did it feel when you got that crown? Well, I felt like, there it goes. Now, <laughs> now everything was in place finally. Right. So when she became Miss 2018. I was crowning her. Yeah, I know. Yeah. How was yeah. that? Did you feel like, did you see, I'm, I'm sure you saw all the like, other... Oh, she's too tall. <laughs> <laughs> tall woman and tall woman. Yeah. <laughs> so um, did, did you know or did you have a feeling that, okay, this woman right here might be the one who's being crowned because as a queen yourself, you see another queen yeah. walking down <laughs> that. <laughs> how was the feeling? Like, how were you part of the judging as well? Oh, or? no, I was not part of the judging, but I was actually the one who recommended her to be mm. in the panel because we are, we're working together, we're friends, uh, so, wow. but, you know, uh, it's all uh, it's a fair competition and I was really happy for her to win and uh, that's amazing I, I was I was I also had a, another title that was mm -hmm. ongoing the Miss Russian California so when I was giving up the crown of Miss Russian LA it actually felt really good and really natural so proud I enjoyed my year and I was like very happy to Yes, to your another. <laughs> yes, did she snap at a finger? Did she help? Tr I help get it from you. I think you have to like. Yes, a little I sass. Like, yeah, See, like, Queen's got sass and everything, right? I just, I just, yeah. I just want to be darker a little bit. Like, That's amazing. Like, <laughs> so now, did you get trained, or did you get some advice from her before you stepped into well, the competition? Anna walks runway just perfectly, and she taught all of us to walk the runway and she she helped all of us how to present ourselves because for for me it was my first um, pageant, pageant and for a lot of girls it was a first pageant too so we were like okay we are here but we kind of like know what we are doing but not really <laughs> it's still walking right but it's so much yeah. pressure so, but it so, much, so pressure. much pressure it is different than runway it, you have to present yourself you have to stand out and Anna did really good job on teaching us how to do that <laughs> right that's amazing did you have a hard time or did you like just pick it up quickly Oh, I mean, she's I a mean, professional dancer. She is. Oh. She's, she was kind of like, yeah, I'll take your advice, but I, you know. I, I got this on my own. I, I got this I in got the bag. But at some point, she, she, um, yeah, I, I think at some point, 
there's always a moment when you're like, oh, should I do this or that? Right. You know? And then I, I was so happy for all the girls to absolutely to, to experience that. It's such a big day. And, I'm and like, sure. I really, I really wanted for everyone to first of all enjoy themselves. Right. Because I had, I gave a huge speech because this is what it's about. Right. Enjoying yourself. Right? And what do you think, Miss Russian LA, is about? For in your opinion, what? Do you, what message do you want to tell people about Miss Russian LA? I mean, Russian, Russian girls is a, I think it's a very unique aggregator. First yeah. of all, it's like we're really strong and we are beautiful. I yes, mean, you guys are beautiful, <laughs> tall and... It's, it's not, I'm not, I'm not trying to brag. No, please do. Like, <laughs> tell the world what Miss Russian LA do, is about that people do, don't We know. are proud of our... Um, of culture. our history, of mm -hmm. our culture, and um, Russian Russian women have beauty, but they also have big hearts. hearts. Mm -hmm. So um, I think that's what it's about, just to show. First of all, this is a pageant; it's a contest of beauty, talent, and intellect. Yes. So it's not just about like looking good. Looking right? Good. It's, it's everything it's what you are what your energy is like right um so definitely it's about how how much more there is to just joy. looks yes yeah. just like embodying you know the founder miss <laughs> lika yeah. which i will be interviewing shortly in talent beauty and brains and this is amazing okay. because for yeah. people that do not know much about russian women or russian culture this is a great way to present it to the world so with you being 2018 miss russian you uh los angeles it was great i mean it started with my year started with winning the crown thank you yes <laughs> you're welcome bye and i think it was a great year i live in los angeles just two years and i won it last year and this year was full of so many exciting things right i had a lot of things going on in my acting career and my fashion career and i think that you know wearing a crown gave me such a great energy right the rest of the year that right. i can't even explain it that's and amazing so you understand she's a mathematician oh that's yeah. her first profession so i'm very excited for her to be like okay i'm also pretty and that's right. fine <laughs> i also think that this contest is to break this rule that pretty girl is just pretty, pretty girl. girl yes because yes we have questions we can asking us questions mm -hmm. we have talent and mm -hmm. last year one of the girls she she is a mathematician too oh, and she mm -hmm. was solving some equations you wow know, on the desk on so the in your desk. mind while you're walking so i'm like okay let me calculate this point <laughs> right here <laughs> and this is how i'm gonna win that, Kate was like well actually like there's the, you know and something that. missing <laughs> but what i'm trying to say it's to break this rule that pretty girl can be smart absolutely so <laughs> you guys heard it here first miss russian los angeles not only are these women standing up for being a beautiful woman from russia but they're also standing up for women across the world who stands up for beauty talent and intellect which a lot of people unfortunately don't get to uh, understand or see but these women definitely stand for that and i'm so proud and i'm so excited yeah. and i'm so excited for the next 2019 are you guys excited for that i'm, uh, so, excited. I'm so excited one last question one last question do you prepare like a diet regimen <laughs> That's my question. Like diet regimen before the the show or anything like that, or you guys are just naturally beautiful and <sighs> great bodies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gosh, I she's just like kinda, you know. You just eat an apple and then that's. No, no. Three, three years ago, it just kind of clicked to me on what my body needs and what it doesn't, and then yeah, I I have a couple of sick bits. I'm not gonna lie. Right. We just don't have time to get into that. But. <laughs> And you guys work out religiously or just calculate your food intake or I mean what does I mean, what does I, one I need I to just, prepare to I'm be a, a queen? Dancer. I'm a dancer, that. so I I You're look active. like that always. Wow. So I didn't prepare I didn't have any diet for the before the show. <laughs> You're so lucky. And <laughs> just the way I am. See, but there you go. She works so much. I mean you should know how much she works for that buddy. It's, it's like yeah, well I'm like that. Well yeah, because you dance yeah, because five hours a day. 
Uh, that's know? amazing. Yeah. See, hardworking too. That's an addition to a Miss Fresh in Los Angeles. Again, ladies, thank you so much for thank talking so to me. Much. You guys are so beautiful. And, you know, thank you for sharing your knowledge and wisdom to the world and your talent and your beauty. Where and are you from, by the way? I'm originally from the Philippines. Oh, I love you. <laughs> you. Yes. So we have Miss Anna and oh. Catherine <laughs> representing Miss Fresh in Los Angeles. So stay tuned. Right here, not only is she a queen, we have our special guest, but she is also the founder, CEO, this gorgeous woman of the 8th annual Miss Russian Los Angeles, Miss Lika Asipova. Welcome. Thank you so much. I'm very happy to meet you, first of all, and uh, I'm very excited about my 8th annual pageant, yes. which is going to be on March 24th. And if we um, look back when I came to United States, and uh, I remember I um, I was the girl, the little girl, but with the big ambitious, mm -hmm. and I always wanted to do my show in United States. And uh, I remember how a lot of people around me told me, "Lika, don't do it. You can't do it because it's something that not going to be well." And the best thing that I never listen to people like exactly <laughs> <laughs> and you followed your heart so how when did you start feeling like okay I'm finally getting the support that I need um, what clicked to you and made you keep going well I, I always know that you you can't um, you can't just give up you need right. to follow your passion and it was my passion it's still my passion and um, yes I just decided to follow my dream I thought if it's not gonna go well at least I tried, tried. yes mm -hmm. but well I tried mm -hmm. but if you never try you never know and so let me ask you something why Miss Russian Los Angeles what was the meaning of you for creating Miss Russian Los Angeles uh, amongst other events well, I was a contestant by myself when uh, I lived in Russia and um, I won, I lost, it was a lot of different situations right. and I always wanted to create my own show to share my experience with other ladies and um, I didn't want it to be just a regular right. beauty pageant with this bikini thing right. where people come, especially men, to see the girl, to pick up the girl and go out, no, 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 the main goal is to help the people who come to my show first of all to connect right another one to help build a career for the right. girls and um, it's very important I always tell them that don't just uh, go for this crowd you have to enjoy the adventure you have to enjoy this road right to success. Uh, there's in my mind as you speak that so what do you think embodies the perfect Miss Russian Los Angeles? It's a very good question. First of all, the perfect Miss Russian or wherever Los Angeles is supposed to be intelligent, smart. This woman is supposed to have at least a bachelor degree. It doesn't matter in this country or any another, country. Yeah, any country. This woman is supposed to be a um, hard-working woman, mm -hmm. a beautiful woman, not only outside but inside, because the energy is everything. Beauty comes and goes, but the inner Imagery. beauty it stays forever. So the perfect Miss Los Angeles is supposed to be intelligent, smart, uh, very kind, because I want her to help other uh, people. So this is probably all. I also have another question. What would you think the hardest um, or the biggest trial or tribulations that uh, that you encountered creating this event where you were like, oh, forget it, you know what, I'm just, I don't want to do this anymore, but then you still kept going? Yes. I had a lot of uh, kind of this situation in my life when I just, you know, I don't have any desire to make it anymore. That's it. I don't want to. But and the, you know what inspired me? Other people, they never give up. I, I, I You know, I never look back and uh, watch the negative person. Right. I'm trying to follow the positive. positive. Yes, Thank you. positive people, positive examples. Yes. That's why, you know, I always like, yeah, I know it's hard today, but maybe one year after I'm going to look back and say, Lika, thanks God you didn't give up. You know, you did. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Congratulations. I mean, look, you're at your eighth annual. Uh, Miss Russian Los Angeles, that's amazing. Eight. 
and so no one can tell you anything now so what's next like I'm sure it's just gonna go bigger and bigger and more people are gonna want to be involved and know about how beautiful Russian women are as well and the culture what's next for Miss Lika yes yeah, so I just did a bigger show it calls Miss Russian United States wow but in all states yes and it was in New York and the funny thing that I came to New York when I um, traveled to United States and it right. was my first stop I read that and I heard that you didn't even want to stay in New York That's so tell right. us about that <laughs> and I remember when it was uh, it was 10 years ago I, I, I wanted to do my show in New York and I was trying to find sponsors people who support me and I didn't find anyone because the people thought that she's only 22 years old what oh my she goodness can deliver? you know she's too young but I came back to New York this November and I did the show you know it was something that I I challenged myself that is and amazing it was sitting in my head that I need to come back and I need to finish this idea and look at you now you have all these supporters all these celebrity judges big companies that's a part of your great event I'm so happy that big 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 people support my show like Ben Stein like Christian Peters that's like amazing. Sheila Conlin yes. yes like different other big uh, beautiful talented and powerful people and that's amazing I also know that you're a part of a women empowerment and you also have your own school now <laughs> please tell everyone about that because you're such a businesswoman how do you even handle all that well we'll start off with the first question yeah. so first of all I, I strive to assist the young ladies to be um, to build their career here in Hollywood to never give up and to um, just to follow the dreams that's why I want to share it with them I need that I, I feel that I need it I feel that I need to send this message so yes I have kind of uh, groups that uh, come to me to my right. place and I share this experience and uh, and also I help to build the career for the young ladies in uh, acting and modeling areas. that's a beautiful thing so she's not only doing the Miss Russian Los Angeles but she's also building careers for other people so they can inspire other people and that's a beautiful thing you're changing the world and you're representing Russia and you know the whole culture well let's say not only russia let's say the uh, former soviet union's countries because see that's yes. true and that's bigger than yes because it's like uh, the, for the russian speaking people it right be armenians georgian ukrainians mm -hmm. everyone so what can you say to other young ladies who is aspiring not just to be a part of the russian los angeles just to, you know to be the best of themselves Yes, first of all, they, they should just follow their dreams, uh, follow their goals, never give up. And if they want, if they really, really want something, it will happen. Yes, it's going to take a lot of hard work, but at the end it's worth it, trust me. Last question, I'm sure a lot of men would want to know, are you single? <laughs> I'm married for 10 years. Oh, she's married, guys, happily, sorry. Happily. happily married. So too bad <laughs> so please let everyone know to go attend your um the, the be a part of how to be a part of the miss russian los angeles so please join us on march 24th at miss russian los angeles it's going to be beautiful award ceremony in tagliano complex in the heart of hollywood and you guys can buy your tickets on ticketsr.com or eventcartel.com you can follow me on instagram lika osipola you can follow me on facebook at lika osipola or just check my website lika osipola.com again we thank you ladies and gentlemen for tuning in just watch out for this woman this power <laughs> businesswoman you'll be seeing her at a lot more i don't think this is there's more to come from her taking over for us women and we definitely need that and we thank you thank you thank you miss lika